All right, so guys, uh, today is going to be an interesting day because I need to exchange some money because I have zero cash in their currency here. Um, so <laughs> hopefully um, I can get on the train. I don't have enough to get on the train in cash, so I hope that they take my card, which I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that they will. Um, it, it was just a, a little stressful because I realized what I had done. Um, I had cash. The only cash that I had was uh, enough for food. So I don't, I haven't eaten, eaten anything besides an apple today. So let's go exchange some money and hopefully I can get on that train and I don't have to walk eight miles. So tomorrow is my last day here, but I'm leaving early. I'm heading out to the airport early. Um, so tonight's my last night, but tomorrow's my last day, which I have to wake up early. So I guess uh, that 0.01% was correct. Um, they told me cash only, even though the, <laughs> oh man, even though like the tap thing was there. The tap card was there, man. I was able, like, I, I don't know why this language barrier is sucks sometimes because I don't think that she would have changed her mind. And she said cash only is cash only, but it's just, I, I'm a little confused because the contactless thing, the, oh man, it's just so frustrating. The thing was there to tap your card. So I just don't understand why they had that and she kept saying cash only. Like, I understand it was cash only if she kept saying it, but I was so, I'm so surprised that it's just frustrating because now I'm going to walk a while away. Uh, man. I'm going to walk a bit to get to a certain spot where Hopefully I can pay a card there because it's it's just confusing because online it said that you can pay with a card contact list and I go there and they have the tap to pay and she keeps saying ca cash only which is just uh, I hope that I don't have to like walk 10 miles or like 20 miles today that's that's what I really don't want to happen, which if it does, it does. I had an interesting th idea where I, t I have a dollar, a crispy dollar. And I went up to some people and I was like, hey, I went up to a, a shop, a tire shop. And I was like, hey, I know they didn't understand me, but I was like, I'll give you this dollar 30 baht, which I'm actually giving them a deal because I, but it's just, I really need it. But I don't think they're gonna do it because people just think that I'm like scamming them. I think that it's like a fake dollar or something. And obviously why would they want a dollar? <laughs> they're doing me a favor, which, uh, man, I asked already uh, like five people, but they just uh, say no, so. At least I tried. I'd rather I'd rather me try and they say no than like because I potentially have to walk a lot. All right, guys. So I ended up taking a grab because I was I don't know I was freaking out. <laughs> um, I decided to take a grab, which is an Uber, and I'm thankfully already here. It, it didn't cost that much. It's just I did I really wasn't able to use my car so i'm kind of upset about that but there was no way that i was uh gonna do that gonna walk all this way because i am starving and i was just stressed out i've had like no water today so i'm dehydrated i'm hungry um starving actually because i didn't really eat much yesterday all i had was just sodium uh <laughs> so bad decisions all around I should have planned accordingly um, and let's just go in and exchange some money and get some food in us because my mind is not working right right now. Alright guys, so we got 
we exchanged our money and you know what i am so hungry this might be just an all-out food video where all i do is eat and you know what i'm all here for it and i hope you guys are too because i am so hungry but let's let's go downstairs actually because there's a lot of food that i wanted have downstairs that I just saw, that I just passed. All right, so let me show you guys what I got. Look at this packaging on it. Similar to a Mr. Beast, I would say. So I got a burger, hot dog, and fries. Hey, <laughs> Toda. Let's start with the hot dog. Interesting. There's a lot of mayo on there. And even some leaves. Okay. Interesting. I don't think I've ever had a hot dog that looks, uh, that looks like this. Similar to a, a Costco hot dog. Let's get some ketchup on these bad boys. These little forks. Okay, they're really soft. I really like them. <laughs> what threw me off was the ketchup. It, I don't know, it has a different taste to it. it kind of has like a sour taste to it. And I'm super thirsty, but I didn't get anything to drink. I forgot. This is what I was excited most about most excited about a burger from five guys it looks like there's green bell pepper and a slice of pineapple I didn't get any action. That's actually really good. Hell yeah. You guys know we had to do it. We got a Carl Macchiato. And they change it every time. Every place has their own way of doing things. And either way, <laughs> the 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 worker like made the made the napkin look all nice around it that's funny that's hilarious to me it's five o'clock right now let me just finish this there's so much more here than i expected because everywhere i go there's more to see i didn't know that there were these uh like basement this there was this basement floor and there's there's a bunch more. Like those are just all shops. I can't go in there with the camera, but. They're just more shops and more shops. And there's people going in them. So it's not dead. Like the malls in, in California, they're pretty dead compared to like how they were 10 years ago. 10 years ago, they were dying. Now more people are going out, but not really. It's still all online. A lot of it's just online shopping. And here, there's a ton of online shopping happening, but for the most part, like the majority of it, people go outside to, to go shop with the family, with by themselves. Oh man. 
I'm just so happy that I don't have to walk like 10 miles today. I walked uh, just a mile and a half, so not, not that much. We are on our way to just keep saying more. I really don't know what there is to see on the other side, so we're gonna go back to where I already know that it's gonna be busy. Icon Siam, we already know that it's busy there. We already know what is there, what they have. And you know what, I want some, I want some more food. I'm hungry, let's eat some more. really good if there's like 40 people waiting so I'm like super thirsty and I'm trying to get water but these places don't just sell just water we have to sit down and order something this place looks like oh okay they have water but I wonder if I can just buy that so I got some water from that restaurant they, they charged me 37 baht which is a little expensive I mean it's a <laughs> it's not by a lot it's usually like a water bo a bottle of water is just like 50 cents there it was a dollar so it's not it's fine I'm like super thirsty so I'm fine oh I just got like two big sips two big gulps and oh, I already feel a lot better it's my first time drinking water today or actually second but I'm like super dehydrated I don't really know what to do because I'm already full, but there's no like, none of the desserts really catch my eye. I want a dessert, but there's nothing that really catches my eye yet. All right, so I got this, uh, it's called strawberry cheese, strawberry cheese tea, something like that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was strawberry cheese tea. Um, what the hell? What is this? Some girl, some girl that was in line, I asked her like, oh, have you been here before? Oh, what, what did you like? What did you order? And she chose this. I don't know, I thought I'd try it out. It's not cheese cheese, it's not like yellow cheese. It's like, I don't know how, what kind of cheese this is, but it's very interesting. It's like a strawberry lemonade, but creamy. I don't, I don't think that it has like, a cheese taste that might just be like the g okay that actually is like cre uh, that, that's that's like sweet cheese like provolone but if it was sweet and sugary would i order it again not really i don't really get strawberry lemonade as it is but this is okay to try out because I wanted to, I wanted to try something different than I usually do. But 
They're making candy. I was gonna go back home um, just because I was tired, but I decided I gotta get more footage for you guys. So here I am. I stopped earlier than I expected to. I don't really know where I'm going. I don't really know what there is out here. I mean, there's a lot of people. That's all I, that's all I can see. There's a lot of people. I don't really know where I should, which way I should go from here. to see here it's just a bunch of like just restaurants just a bunch of seafood a bunch of hotels it's just there, there's nothing there's nothing to see it's nothing special it's just shops they're not even like they're not high-end they're not like anything cool it's just a bunch of tobacco shops a bunch of just food and seafood I don't like I hate seafood I can't even eat it so this video went a little differently than I expected so I'm walking to KFC having a big meal before I leave tomorrow just to make sure if I don't have anything to eat tomorrow morning I at least had a big meal tonight and I have to wake up early so let's see if I uh, go to bed early because I did stay up super late when I was on my way over here on the flight from the uh, from Cali from LAX I stayed up all night so I don't want that to happen but I also don't want to miss uh, my flight so I need to make sure that I wake up on time that I have everything ready and I don't forget anything in my place tonight over right now to KFC so humid on the train on the BTS it was nice and cool for the most part but when those doors open it was humid so so humid and it still is here we are we got a lot of steps in today and you know what this place is beautiful. I'm gonna miss it for the bit of time that I'm I'm not here. It says it's open 24 hours. I didn't know that. I thought they closed at 10. I would have just walked over here every time. All right. I ordered a lot of food just in case, so I have extra for tomorrow morning once I wake up. Fried chicken isn't really the best breakfast to have, but it's better than nothing because I'm most likely not gonna have anything else tomorrow morning besides a coffee. So, I didn't want to record it just because uh, most people, hold on, <laughs> most people, um, are very uh, nervous around a camera. They don't know what my intentions are. So I bought KFC, right? And it actually came with three drinks, three small drinks. And I put Pepsi in all of them. And I was like, you know what? Why am I gonna be holding all three? So I looked around, there was a delivery driver right next to me. And I, I told him, I was like, hey, you want this? It's free. 
he thought I was trying to sell it to him. And I was like, no, 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 free. Here you go, man. And he was like, oh, what's your name? And he was like, thank you so much. Have a good, yeah. So he was chill. He was, he was really surprised. He was just watching some anime while he was waiting for an order. Because I know how it is. I'm a, I'm a food delivery guy too. So I know how it is waiting and having a long night. And these people here, man, they're hard workers. They're always on the go. So I gave him one and I was expecting myself to hold two. And I was like, all right, I'll have two, two drinks, whatever. Oh. Oh yeah? Oh, okay. Uh, Kensington, Kensington. Is that okay? I did not expect this, man. <laughs> I honestly don't know how to ride a motorcycle, let alone even be a passenger. This is, uh, I'm a big dude, so. Some of these bikes are very small. But this one, thankfully, it can carry me. It can hold me. Tuncho Arai. Tuncho Arai Krap. Deck. Oh, uh, Rob. Uh, home, uh, Robert. Robert. Ah, chai. Kofun Krab. Kofun Krab, friend. <laughs> Have a good night. Yeah, that's the guy that I gave a soda to and he just came out of nowhere because he saw me walking. Hell yeah, dude. That's so unexpected, man. <laughs> See, there are good people. That first guy was like, that first guy was super cool. And he was like, what's your name? He tried to talk to me in English. And and that guy, bro, he legit saw me on the road. You guys saw it. That's so. <laughs> you know what? I was so happy with just the first interaction. <sighs> Sorry, I was just happy with the first interaction. But then that guy just comes out of nowhere. His name's Tack. See, there's great people out there. Great people. He was just waiting for an order at his at the gas station and I came up to him and he was like, Oh thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very great people here. And this just shows the hospitality and the kindness. <laughs> 